three, two, slate. The song was All the Gold in California. The year was 1979. I'm Larry. I'm Steve. I'm Rudy. And we're, we're the, the Gatlin, Gatlin Brothers, and these are the sounds of the time. Our maternal grandfather, Clib Doan, taught us to sing out of the church hymn book. He loved those old gospel songs. So from the time that we were born, it was first nature to us. We didn't know we were supposed to be nervous. To say that it was in their blood would be an understatement. The trio grew up in Abilene, Texas, and started singing, to put it mildly, at an early age. We won a little talent show in Abilene in the two, four, and six division. Of course, we were the only act in the two, four, and six division, but we won. It's easy to win that way. It's easy to win if nobody else is there. They dabbled first in gospel music. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We've been able to do that since we were six, eight, and 10 or 12 years old. Before finding sturdy roots in country, owing much of their success to their mother, who never hesitated to put her talented kids in the spotlight. Mom, rest her soul, she would tell anybody and everybody about her kids. We went to New York to <laughs> sing at the World's Fair, and we didn't have an engagement to sing at the World's Fair. No. She just Not went up really. to somebody and said, my kids can sing better than anybody you've got on this show at the Billy Graham Pavilion at the World's Fair. Put them on. So mom just hopped up there, and there were a couple of microphones. And we've got a picture of us singing. So. <laughs> Uninvited, though, we've sung at the World's Fair. Their joint music career took a hiatus when the boys went to college. But by 1971, Larry was spotted at an audition by Dottie West. Dottie West heard me singing a couple of songs backstage. She said, write me some songs. I wrote eight songs in Houston when I'd gone back home from Vegas. I sent them to her. She sent me a plane ticket. It was a plane ticket to Nashville. And over the next few years, his brothers would join him in Music City. We knew we wanted to sing. We always wanted to sing together. When the timing happens for you, then you've got to be able to step through that door. With the brothers back together and timing finally synced up, by 1977, they were taking home a Grammy Award for Broken Lady. We're just honored to be nominated and all the people in our category, they're all wonderful. Uh-uh, I voted for us. That is nice. Every sort dad of. burn time. <laughs> yeah, being nominated is great, but winning is really good. The song came to Larry while he was riding in a taxi on the way to the airport. Out of the clear blue sky, I said, to be Then I heard the guitar part go, wong, ba -da -dong. broken lady, waiting to be mended, and have what's left of pieces put back in place. About six or eight months later, it was a number one record. In 1979, the Gatlin brothers would again be nominated for a Grammy Award, this time for their hit song, All the Gold in California. We were getting dressed in the dressing room of, of a big auditorium somewhere. I said, come in here, boys. And I said, listen to this. All the gold in California is in a bank in the middle of Beverly Hills in somebody else's name. Steve said, that's a hit. Their songs have always been written solely by Larry, who has a knack for the written word. Larry is a craftsman. He knows how to write, put words together. And after you hear it, you go, I wish I said that. Ernest Hemingway said all he did was sit down at the typewriter and bleed. William Faulkner said it, it was his job to take the truth and set it on fire. So that's, that's kind of what I try to do. But while Larry handles all the songwriting, the other two play a crucial role in the arrangement process deciding when and where to add those melodic, fine-tuned harmonies. Cause she's just dying to do the Texas two-step. I'm a two-step And she just son can't wait to strut her stuff. Dance to do the God Night Joe. It's where to sing and where not to sing. Cause we tried to fit some harmony vocals. They gotta, you know, we gotta 
No, and they just didn't work, so we didn't put them right there. Almost let her have a place in my heart. No one but you could ever take. And then they went, I almost called her baby by mistake. Over the years, the brothers have also been active on the political front, but say they try to avoid mixing their politics and their music. Our concerts, we do not turn them into a Pentecostal Holy Ghost revival. That's not what people come for. And just because I'm on Fox News and we're on there, we don't turn it into a political uh, event either. We'll make a little fun, you know, point a little, uh, don't tell my mother I'm in the Congress that I'm a member of the House Ways and Means. Our saintly mother thinks I play piano in a beer joint in New Orleans. I mean, Mama would rather have us playing in a beer joint or a modello for that mm, matter than being in the Congress. The Grammy Award-winning brothers have come a long way since the Abilene Talent Show. Here are three young men uh, from Odessa, Texas, from humble beginnings, who have been all over the world together singing their music for everybody from winos in the street to the President of the United States. But they haven't lost their unending love for Mama or that playful brotherly animosity. Here we are in New York, New York! <laughs> Mama, are you sure he's just, one of us? Uh, and having now been inducted into the Grand Ole Opry, the Gatlin brothers are forever stamped in country music history. I sleep in my Johnny Cash t-shirt Protected by Jesus and the man in black The end. <laughs>